WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome all to another news update at 2 p.m. with David White on TFNN. Uh, it's uh, kind of a quiet day. A lot of people uh, trying to figure out uh, whether they should go left or go right uh, after uh, Powell's uh, discussion this morning and a preemptive strike yesterday by one of the other Fed members. Uh, so the question is, we don't have a lot of up. We don't have a lot of down. Um, so is it, uh, w what can we make out of this? Well, volume is very light as we push down lower. Uh, we're only doing about 5.8, 5.9 billion shares on the CBOE consolidated tape. Uh, if you ever want to follow along with me on that, uh, probably the best breakdown on volume, uh, I'll be glad to send you the link. Uh, just email me at path at tfnn.com. Of course, uh, that's kind of it. We're, you know, up half percent on the S&P cash, but way off the around 39.45 or so uh, high we had uh, yesterday uh, that was well, pretty much a short squeeze. But again, uh, the push back down this morning on lighter volume, hard to get past a lot of the optimism coming out of China. Uh, now that they're uh, doing away with the uh, lockdowns, um, we've kind of figured that out already. They've kind of clung to it. Uh, but uh, a lot of people think that there is a lot of pinup demand, much like we had uh, about a year ago when everybody started giving up on the lockdowns and started to uh, go live life again. But uh, that's kind of it at the moment. There's not a lot going on. Besides that, gold's basically flat. Uh, crude's up about a percent. Uh, we've got uh, some uh, meetings from the uh, OPEC Plus folks coming up. Maybe that puts a little bit into it, but I think uh, right now it's all Western. Uh, it's all quiet on the Western Front. And uh, tomorrow we go into Delta Neutral for options. Uh, we'll all know a lot more about predicting the future. We'll be back in just a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets